Welcome back everybody to Ico part 8 with uh, Turtle Bros. And as you can see here, we have discovered that there is indeed a switch. Well you can't there. really well you can't really see it from this angle, but trust us, there's a switch up there. There's a switch up there that we will need to pull so that we can deactivate this vicious waterfall and rescue Yorda from the clutches of being alone. Really the shadow creatures just represent loneliness. It's the all consuming it's the fear inside of us. Yeah. The all-consuming loneliness. The all-consuming loneliness that consumes our hearts and souls and turns Iko into a uh, into a horned boy. Oh, a horny boy. There we go. The metaphor gets evolved further. This game really has uh, great thematics, you know? Mm-hmm. It really does. I just enjoy how it forces you to keep Yorda around, but it doesn't... It manages to... To some degree, avoid Yorda just being the bot companion by. You just gotta avoid the old ball and chain, you know? <laughs> yeah. Please, take my wife! <laughs> Alright. So. <laughs> How do we get up to that? It's I probably... believe. I believe it's in the bridge area. Yeah, prob probably. And I just missed the little doorway there because the screen was too dark. But, viewers at home. We have finally figured out the solution to many of the problems facing us today. Um, we turned up the brightness on the television, which will probably save us many headaches in the coming episodes. Stop us from missing obvious things, silly things, which you probably noticed and watched us run past. Okay, so half a dozen times. I I'll bet you anything. Well, I won't bet you anything. I'll bet you a lot of things. That uh. At the doorway is on this level to the left here and I just fucking missed it yeah there we go there we it's go it's even a fairly bright door now yep we just did not look and that, there we go that is our ultimate failure here there is a lever here that's... and by the way we did not use a walkthrough to find that lever I spotted it through my own ingenuity so take that there we go take that Obama disabled the water now Yorda can climb up slope uh yeah oh she kind of just is there all right okay well yorda will uh, get you the rest of the way in a, a couple seconds we got to run back down and get her yorda we're come we're coming for you come on gotta get the old ball and chain you know what i'm saying please take my wife I need the... <laughs> that, that's the yeah. uh that's the name of matt remember the name Oh no! <laughs> uh, oh boy. That was completely and utterly my fault. Um, Alright. Okay, Let's just we're gonna keep put going. Let's just keep going. What? Well, where do we continue from? Uh, just from where we saved last, so just here. Oh, okay. So I'll have to go pull the switch again, but that's not too bad. Okay. Yeah. So. So, uh, we're, ju we're just gonna take the old ball and chain. Please, take my wife! Um, or. <laughs> That's the name of this episode now. Probably. Please take my wife. Yeah. So. Let's go to a bit of story time. Yeah. Right now. I got so, a story. Last week, I ended up heading up to my hometown for my younger sibling's graduation. Both of oh. them are graduating from high school. Nice. Well, good for them. So, they did really well. That's good. So. Yeah, that was a really fun time. We ended up going to a bar and playing pool. And you play pool often? Not very often at all. Just usually when I'm up there, because my younger brother, AJ, really enjoys. What is it? Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> okay. I, I don't know if you can... S no. No, I have to all right. It. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, your story was too entrancing. Yes. Younger brother really enjoys pool. And went out with me, Austin, and Dad. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good time. And then we... I was going somewhere with this. But. <laughs> oh, yeah. We had some people who were doing some karaoke as well. And they were just. The worst. The, it, yeah. It was just. Dude, there's, there's nothing like. Um, 
you know, you know, it's my life by Bon Jovi. The only time I had ever heard that for like the first three years I knew that song was at karaoke's. Oh. So whenever anybody like started singing it, I wouldn't hear the Bon Jovi version in my head. I'd hear like a girl at the karaoke bar saying, "It's my life it's now or never." Yeah. Yeah, we had the one guy who was constantly on, and he would just sh- scream into the mic, <laughs> like whenever a moment to do so occurred. Um, but just, I, and I just couldn't help but comment on the fact that he probably is going to wake up, would wake up without a voice the next <laughs> morning because he's not doing anything. To make sure that he's not just violently destroying his voice. Vocal chords. The first time I ever did karaoke, I did, um, oh, what was the song? It's by Iron Maiden, uh, Run to the Hills. Oh. And, like, for the for the chorus, you know, I did the falsetto. You're like, run to the hills. But for the for the verses, I was like, sweeping and raving all over the place. And then, and like, I couldn't speak the next morning. <laughs> since, well. since I've gotten a lot better at singing like that. Yeah. Um, but... It took me a while to master, you know, singing some rock and roll. It's the art of singing but, uh, beautiful music. Karaoke's... I, I love karaoke. Karaoke is, um... Yeah, it's... One it, of, it's what let me, um, like, get used to singing in front of people, and now, you know, I can... I do musical comedy at live shows and get paid for it, so it... And karaoke's, like, what started that, because, um... Like, before then, I wasn't comfortable singing in public. Um, but I went to karaoke nights and, you know, I drank some liquid courage and I started, uh, singing to people and I realized that as long as, like, even if I didn't sing great, as long as I, like, put my heart and soul into it, um, people would dig it and that's people, what really... Yeah, and that's... And that's, that's what I tell people whenever we go do karaoke and stuff. Like, you don't, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to get into it. You just got to sing the song in your soul. You don't even have Which to. Which is why when you do karaoke, it has to be a song that you really enjoy and know well. Mm-hmm. Not because it has to be good, but because you have to, like, fuck, I hate. You have to sing it, um, you know. You have to sing it like you really, really enjoy the song and that. Yeah. And your enjoyment will reach the people in the audience, and they'll enjoy your enjoyment. Anyways, um... Ooh, here we magic go. blocks! Yeah, Yorda makes magic blocks appear. Amazing. Just gotta be careful. The game actually pauses here whenever they appear, so I can't just run across. Ah! Um... That's... That's a little cutscene thing. Yeah, that's and then, really good. Oh, we, get, we finally make progress! Progress! Right. Now yeah. we just gotta pull the lever. And then Or wait. Oh. Did I do that right? Yep. Yep. Yay. There we go. And I think all we have to do Isn't that the end of this maybe? Um, well it didn't open it up. We well now we have to get a stick and light those Oh no Yorda! Yorda! <laughs> Yorda, please! What are you doing? <laughs> Come on. Uh, uh now we have to climb back up and Actually, get you on, Yorda. Come on. Uh, please, just take my wife. Just... Come on, Yorda. Like, thank you. Um, well, if we're gonna if we're doing storytelling today, I um, I made, I made, I got into a, an, well, I'm not gonna call it an altercation. I got into an argument with a disabled homeless person a couple days ago. Oh. And I know I sound like a jerk, and that's because I was. Um. <laughs> They went up. They went up to me at the bus stop, and they were like, uh, "Can I see your phone?" And I don't. You don't give your phone to anybody downtown, regardless yeah, of their able-bodiedness. It's just so not a good you know, idea. I said no. It died, and she said, um, and "She said, oh, well, can you get me on the bus?" And I said, uh, "No, I'm sorry. I don't have any change." And that was actually true. I didn't have any change. I, I'll give out change, but I actually didn't have any. Um, and then she started, like, rolling away. And she was like, oh, do you know the time? And I was like, very clever, but my phone's dead, so I can't tell you it. And she, like, she actually was like, mmm. 
And, and she, I just was a bit steaming at that. Yeah, well, she looked at me and she was like, <clears throat> and I said, have a nice day. And she said, I don't like you. And then I said, oh, well then have a bad day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, and I think that was a little steamy. I mean, yeah. I, yeah. I, sometimes we say things we regret, and I do regret saying it. But on the other hand, I didn't feel too bad. That is fair, though. Oh, and there's that door opening that we saw the earlier. Door open. Now, now half the audience hates me, and the other half, it kind of agrees with you, but still can says, I don't know. Yeah. No, we want the sword. <laughs> Alright, yeah. I it's always weird interact for me interacting with uh, hmm. I don't know how to word this without s sounding a bit like a jerk. Well, it's but it's okay. Just, it's it's okay to acknowledge that um there are class differences. Yeah. Um, just people who are a little less well off than, and I am I'm never quite sure how to interact with them because I'm just like what am I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah. I it's I mean just be polite and if you can help them you can help them. Usually I, usually I do give change. Um I just didn't have any. Um because I, I understand like they're just victims of circumstance and the egregious capitalist system overpowered by the bourgeois um, but you know sometimes you can't do anything and I'm definitely not giving anybody my phone I mean yes that's just a general poor idea just because um, I don't know like, just, be kind, I've, I've but had don't... somebody, like, ask me for my phone and take it before. Hmm. And I had to chase them down. Yeah. That's... Just... Oh my god, where is she going? Uh, probably... Over... The... Further down the bridge, but... I'm coming, I'm coming! Oh. This is... <laughs> I swear this to god, a whole lot of running. Start... Where the... Where... Oh, the... Literally the furthest one away. Okay, uh... hey, hey, okay. Leave me alone. Where are you? Orda, please? No, no. Good. Got her. Yeah. Save. Great. There we go. And my sword does indeed do more damage to them. Yeah, that's... That really helps a lot. But it doesn't help when they're swarming you and... They all just want you to at the same time. And then you yeah. get knocked over and you can't do anything. Mm -hmm. But that's okay because Iko's here to save the day. Save the day with egregious amounts of violence. I also, I really... Also, I really liked the cutscene that we had a bit earlier with the giant laser. What? Oh, laser yeah. Laser shining light. Shining light. It's yeah. It really shows you making progression. Progress. Yeah, I know. That, that's really that's, fun. You get through, like, the whole puzzle area. And then it just feels so rewarding to... Have that fun cutscene. Yep. Hey, Iko, come on. Come on, you get. You gotta get up this. I'm sorry. What is you your just call her? What? I didn't actually refer to her, her by name. Maybe. Okay. Never. Never mind. I, I heard something else. Oh. Comment below what you think it was. <laughs> so we got a Metal Gear Solid ladder here. It's the exceptionally long ladders. The first time I played this game, I had her crawl up with me when the door was still closed, and I had to oh. crawl, uh, climb all the way down. Oh, that just, that just, it's the time it takes. It's the climb. Oh, and look, they, they're courteous enough to give you another sword here, in case you messed up. So now we're just giving out swords. Yep. Swords, now you have to switch between swords and sticks. It's another mechanic. And here we go. We opened Woo! a shortcut. Yeah. Yay. Wait, that's all we needed to do. <laughs> okay, we do have to do the whole Ico climb. Well, great. More climbing. Got any more stories? Oh. Hmm. 
see. I could tell the funeral one, but you I'm went not to sure. A funeral? If... Yes, my grandmother passed away. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. This... In... Back in... I go back. You were what the fuck? Back at the doing? end of last semester. Yeah. 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 My grandfather passed away just a little while ago too. But. Yeah. But this isn't a sad story. Oh, okay, that's not, good. Not at all, but I'm just wondering if I want to tell this with the knowledge that my parents probably watch the show. <laughs> well, because, you're, you're already, you're already oh, in yeah. for a penny. Well, they already know it, so they're probably going to ask next time I talk to them anyways. So I might as well tell the story. So, I'm at my grandpa's funeral, and... At the at this point, I've made it through most of my grieving and ever, yeah. everything. So, because the actual funeral helped a lot with that. Yeah. Because we had a few laughs at for the good memories and cried a bit for the loss of Grandpa, who I really enjoyed the company of. He, yeah. He was. Good grandpas great are man. good. He was a great man. Yeah. But during the reception afterwards, yeah, it's, I was ending up talking to a few people and ended up wow. talking to a friend that AJ and Heidi knew from their their camp days. Okay. Oh, oh so uh, we are supposed to be here. That's a good sign. All right, that's uh. good. Yeah, I ended up talking to a friend. That they oh, knew shit. from. Did she get captured before I? Oh. Hey. Okay. Uh, that's a bit irritating. Yeah, ended up talking to a friend that they knew from their camp days, and yeah, she's just getting out of high school, and yeah, and she's going to be headed off to. College. I believe it was Briar Crest to pursue dance, I believe. Oh, if I recall correctly. I don't remember her name, but I remember what college she planned on going to. Yeah. <laughs> you can't explain that. You can't ex it's, it's, it's yeah. Bill O'Reilly. Uh, mem memory is a weird thing. Ah, fuck. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I just need to kill them all so that cutscene goes away. Yeah. So, I, so we're having a lovely little conversation having a just a general good yeah. time talking to each other yeah and she ended up mentioning that I never really learned how to dance oh okay so having learned that she was going off up to practice dance and so she ends up up telling me that the church is going to have a dance practice or some such. Oh, okay. Just events later on that day. Yeah. And so I end up going, eh, I might come by. Because, you know, why not? Might as well learn how to dance and hang out with people I enjoy the company of. Yep. And so... <laughs> the weird part is that I end up... I did actually end up suggesting this to my, my dad after we went back to the house but I wasn't able to go oh. unfortunately oh no just because my dad wanted me there or so it was on it's perfectly under yeah yeah you couldn't you couldn't attend yeah yeah because I was obligated to be there because yeah, yeah re reasons because I have to I have to be there it would be poor if I wasn't there yeah and so yeah Unfortunately, I've fallen out of contact with her, and I don't remember her name, unfortunately, so, yeah. So you didn't get to dance? No, unfortunately not. So, I don't know. Yeah, that's well, ba that's the basic story. I'm, I still don't really know how to dance, <laughs> so... One, one day, I'll, one day. you just gotta show, you just gotta dance what's in your heart, man. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I don't know, I could dance until, um... Until I went to Mexico, 
and I didn't have any friends there. Mm. So I went to the discotheque every night, and without knowing anyone, I just fucking, I danced my ass off. Mm. And people kept coming up to me afterwards, and they were like, It's the dance guy! Oh my god! Because you just gotta, like, you don't have to dance well, you just have to dance like you don't give a shit, and everyone... That's fair. Everyone digs it. Okay, I, I feel like I'm a little stuck here, I don't know where to go now. Yeah. So, we were on the right track going into that other room, because... Because then shadow, the yeah, because the shadow creatures appeared. Yeah, we're going to go and figure out which room we're going to. But until then, oh, that's the end of the episode. Yep, that's the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed our stories, and we will see you next episode of, on Turtle Bros. On Turtle Bros. For more Ico. Bye.